All right, I finally did it. I made a real fountain with water and stuff, but it's not the one you're thinking of. All right, so if you saw last video, you know that I'm working on a fountain. You also know that that fountain went way off the rails. The project took way too long and it took me down a bunch of different winding paths that didn't end up with a final product by last video. In fact, um, I still have pieces here and it is still in progress. This is not the fountain I'm talking about this week. But if you want proof that I'm still working on it, Barrel got a buddy. Barrel got a little buddy friend. What up, little buddy friend? Oh, wait, weird. Right. Oh, this guy's having a breakdown. Well, while I was on hold, while I was just waiting and trying to figure out how to finish that video, I came up with a couple of backup plans. One of those backup plans is the fountain in this video today. You think your old buddy Alf would get his family in hot water if he didn't have a foolproof backup plan? So the concept for this video is a Kugel fountain. What's a Kugel fountain? Is, is a Kugel the exercise you do with your butt that makes you go like, like that? No, it's not. That's an isometric butt clench. I have been doing isometric butt clenches. No, a Kugel fountain utilizes uh, the water pump to create a water bearing and allow you to freely rotate a giant heavy sphere. Now, I'm not going to do anything that giant size. I just flat out don't have the money, the room, and the giant rock. So I'm gonna do something different. I'm gonna do something smaller. I wanna go about yay big. And I wanna get something that can rotate a glass sphere. Sphere, I meant sphere. Anyways, what I wanna do is I wanna rotate this guy. This is a 100 millimeter glass sphere. And you're gonna notice it has a whole ton of bubbles and imperfections in there. I chose this one intentionally because I, I could have gone with a very simple photosphere, which is free of imperfections, free of bubbles. It's cool for photography, but I wanted the bubbles because I plan to put some LED lights around that pump and I want those bubbles to catch the light. And I think it's gonna look super d -d -d dope. So let's find out. I need you to design it. I don't wanna walk you through how I made the design because I always speed it up and you see little pieces. Look, here's the deal. I made a design. The design was excellent. Let's look at it. Here's how it works. That top dish, that top bowl up there is where the ball itself is going to live. The water comes up from underneath, lifts it up on that little water bearing, and then the water comes up and over the edges, spills out into that next bowl down. That bowl doesn't have any drains, so it's actually gonna overflow into that final bowl where I've got all my drains going down into the base. The base contains a 12 volt micro water pump along with a power adapter and, you know, stuff. Look, don't worry about it. Now, I did a smart thing, sort of this time. Before I completed the design, before I put in those additional holes coming down for the LEDs, before I put in a bottom base or anything like that, I printed it out just to test and make sure that my pump was actually going to be able to float this ball on a water bearing. Let's take a look. That's not doing what it's supposed to do at all. Failure, 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 failure. At this point, I got two options. I can either get a more powerful pump for 30, 40, 50 bucks, or 
I'm not a cheapskate. I just don't have $25. I can get a lighter weight glass ball. So, I have a new ball. Love that new ball smell. Yeah. And oh yeah, it's forced perspective. There they are, it's a massive difference. Oh, it's so, so much smaller. But look, still beautiful. Good. This requires a redesign, but not as big of a redesign. So let's do that. Now this time, I made it even easier on myself. Instead of printing out the entire fountain, I just printed out basically that top bowl, that top dish that this one goes into, so I can test the fountain, the water bearing effect before I print all the rest and waste the time. So I printed it out of some ugly yellow PLA. Let's take a look and see if I've got a floater. achieved full kugel haha <laughs> this is amazing and I'm excited so now it's time to assemble assembly is not gonna be easy so I print this thing out in a galaxy purple PLA it's got some sparkles in it it looks amazing and I love it but there's a lot of work left to do so I've got to run some UV LEDs up into those top holes and cables down through the bottom and then I've got to waterproof them up there because they're gonna be right in the line of fire Inside the base, I've got to put in a 12 volt DC power uh, adapter, and that's going to provide power directly to the 12 volt DC pump. But I also have to throw in and somehow waterproof a DC voltage converter to step down that voltage from 12 to 3 volts and provide power to those UV LEDs. A lot of stuff's got to happen. And as you're about to see, my solution to almost everything is resin. Lots and lots of resin. Final assembly is complete. All of the things have been jammed up and into the holes that they belong in and slathered in a healthy dose of resin. There's nothing left to do but to fill it up with water and watch it do what it do. But before we do that, time for a word from this week's sponsor, KenMakeStuff.com. And go. Hello, I'm Ken from KenMakeStuff.com. Have you got a hankering for some handmade things? I've got six products available. Look, it's a real website. Click here, give me money, come on. Use the coupon code KenMakesMistakes to save 20% off your whole order. <laughs> That's pretty good. Now the moment you've all been waiting for. Final product up on a spinny doodly dooby doo. Enjoy. I know I did. Look, that's the end of a video, okay? I've done well, you've done well. You've stuck with me this long, I thank you for that. At this point, since you're still with me, go ahead and hit that like button, go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, leave me a comment or two, and I'll see you next time. Until then, remember, you are my favorite.
we have achieved the Kugel effect. Huh? Little, little Kugly Kugly? You wanna, you wanna, you wanna fidget cube? You wanna, uh, green, and I'm using another green screen. Is 